Hello and welcome. My name is Wayne Lemka. I'm the interim director, our collections manager, and curator of this exhibition called War. This exhibition draws its work from the museum's permanent collection, and the thought came to me as curator that it would be really interesting to take a theme uh, that's relative to what is happening in the world today and look more closely at our permanent collection and see how artists have responded to this theme. So, and I think this exhibition today, War, is even more relevant than it was two months ago when we put the exhibition together. Because as you know, our government officials are telling us that we are in another war today, but we are in a silent war against a virus we can't see. So with that, um, I will talk a little bit about the overview of the show, and then we'll look at some of the works. If you think about it, man has always been in conflict, and that's something that I find very interesting, from the Bronze Age right through to today, as we know our world is full of conflicts. So this exhibition is not meant to cast judgment on any society, any group of people, but it's meant to look at how artists took this theme of war, and we'll see how it's been traced through um, many centuries, how they take the theme and they look at it in various ways. The exhibition is meant to look at war but celebrate patriotism and success and all those other feelings that revolve around war and its resulting effects. So let us begin our very brief tour today. The earliest works in our collection are the works of Stefano Della Bella. Uh, and we have two works by him that deal with conflicts in the 16th century. And from there we will move on to the work of George Bellows. And George Bellows, we have a very large collection of his war prints in our permanent collection. These are all etchings and Bellows dealt with the atrocities that were committed by the Germans in Europe during World War II. Yeah, what's interesting about these prints is the fact that Bellows was not there in person. These prints that he conceived were based on information that he read about the atrocities in the New York Times at that point. The works are very strong, they're very dramatic, and they're very moving. And when people come and see these, these they are always very, very much taken aback by the kinds of Im images and symbolism that he has used in these prints. Two of my favorite works in the exhibition are these two posters that were printed by the Forbes Lithography Company in Boston in 1914. And what's really neat about these two works is that it encouraged Americans to take pride in their country and the events that were happening at the time, which was World War I, and to buy bonds to help support the government. So I have a question for you today. Do you think our government will institute the same kind of policy today to help us fight this invisible war that we seem to have been thrown in the middle of. So as we continue our brief tour today of the war exhibition, I want to look at the work of Robert Kappa, one of the leading photojournalists in the history of photography. Robert Kappa became very famous for his works that he did during World War II, not only in Europe, but in North Africa. And the interesting thing about Robert Kappa is that critics have said that he worked so quickly that he actually worked quicker than his camera could record. And these works, I think, show us some very wonderful moments of American soldiers involved in World War II. Morris Huberlin, who's also in this exhibition, is by far one of my favorite photojournalists from the middle part of the 20th century. And Huberlin worked on the streets of New York for many, many years, capturing all the different interactions that people had. The work in our exhibition called World War II Shopping Days, to me, is very romantic in many ways. While it doesn't show war or conflict, it shows a number of women gathered together on the streets of New York shopping during World War II. And I think the background information that is there and the expressions on their face and that feeling of being united is really quite attractive. So we'll end here today looking at the last work in our collection, which is a work that is contemporary. It's by a photographer named Franz Malczewski. It's called The Warrior, Sergeant First Class Global War on Terror. And this was done in 2013. 
Franz Walczewski has a local connection. She is from Ulster County, and she's also a lecturer in the Department of Art History at SUNY New Paltz. However, the work in this exhibition that we have from her shows the contemporary reaction to people who are fighting the war on terror. And it's a very strong portrait, uh, especially when you look at the, the, the facial features of, of the soldier. It really does help to show you the seriousness of war and how the people who are working to defend our country really do take it very seriously. Not that we doubt that, but the work certainly is very strong. So we'll end here today, and I thank you for taking part in this very brief tour of the exhibition. And I do welcome you to the museum at some point when we are open again. So again, thank you very much.